as usual, I liked a lot of shit this month. Hi everybody, today I am talking about my planner favorites for the month of February 2018. There's some of them are planners, some of them are not so plannery, but they're all things I liked and so I'm going to tell you about them because that's what I do. At the beginning of this month, I went to Palm Springs for the Planners Rock Meetup, which was thrown by the West Coast Planners and I had a great time, I got to speak there. Some of the favorites you're going to see in today's video actually have to do with that and you can actually see me talking about some of them in the haul that I did at the beginning of the month, which I will link somewhere in the wherever that is. To start, I wanna mention that I needed a new purse before I went. I have a little tiny purse I really love. I have some other tote bags that I like, but I wanted something that was gonna look classy as fuck. So at Marshall's for like 25 bucks, I found this bag by Steve Madden. It's a big old tote bag. I don't take it everywhere all the time because it'll fuck my shoulder up, but it has a big old pocket, which I'm not gonna show you because apparently I didn't clean this out before I started the video and it has some feminine products in there and I'm just not really feeling like blasting those all over YouTube. Hashtag the hunt for red October. Love this bag because there's a big pocket that can hold all the things, including my laptop. And then there's also some side pockets that do things like hold keys, hold my phone, and so they don't get lost in the cavern, which is part of the problem I have with tote bags in general, is that there's all the little things you toss in there and then can never find again because they're in the black hole of your bag. If you ever want me to do a video showing what's in my bag besides the feminine products, leave an, a comment down below and you know maybe I'll do that. Spoiler alert, what's in my bag is probably a pile of receipts and somewhere my keys. Now unrelated to planners, to planner meetups, to anything, but I have to mention this. My daughter convinced us to buy the Jack's box. I think it was the third party pack or something, party pack number three. We casted them onto our TV from the computer and then each of our phones worked as our own player device. We played this game where you had to answer trivia questions or they would kill you, which sounds terrible, but was hilarious. And then we played another game where you had to draw individual pictures on your phone and then write out individual slogans and then they all get mixed up and we'd have to create our own t-shirts and vote on which ones were the best. I don't think I've had that much fun as a family in quite some time. We laughed so hard and I cannot wait for us to have time to do it again. Let me check my notes. It's Jackbox Party Pack number three and we got it for 25 bucks on Steam. I got a shirt this month that I am fucking loving. I'm not wearing it today because it is cold as balls. I did wear it when I was streaming to talk to the Minnesota Planner Addicts and that was a lot of fun. It's a Stranger Things shirt that I got from Target, Stranger Things season two, and it says, Bob is the new Barb. I'm not sure if you can see it perfectly, but it's got those like three quarters length, like basketball or baseball looking sleeves. It's super soft. And I have worn the shit out of it since I got it. And thankfully it hasn't shrunk too much because a lot of the time with t-shirts that are that kind of material, they shrink a little. And then with my kidney belly and my tallness, it just, it looks like a bad scene. But this one hasn't shrunk. So it's $14.99. I got it just at Target. Fucking loved it awesome shirt. And the last kind of non-planner item that I'm going to talk about today, which is still kind of planner adjacent because A, I got it at Planners Rock as swag and B, it's made by Chrissy Ann Designs and she does stuff for planners, is this water bottle that she did for Planners Rock. I had in my favorites from October, the pink water bottle that she did that they gave as swag at that meetup. And I loved that one and I used the shit out of that one. But this one is bigger. It holds more water. So I have been loving it and the top doesn't screw on. It like just pushes on. Now, I don't think she sells these, so it's kind of sucky for me to mention it as a favorite. But I love it, and it's helping me drink more water, and I'm on some medication that requires me to drink more water, so it just worked out perfectly. So now we're getting into the more planner-related things, and one of my favorite things of the month came from Planners Rock once again, and is my trophy for winning Chopped. <laughs> Actually, though, that's not really, <laughs> that's not really what I was going to say. And if you don't know, Chopped was a competition like similar to Food Network Chopped, where they had uh, six of us compete against each other, like planning with only a limited number of supplies that we didn't get to know about ahead of time. And then the audience voted on our layouts who was the winner and I wound up winning it, which was awesome. But one of the things they had for each of us were these, these like, what are they like self-healing cutting mats? And it's a smaller one, Vantage cutting mat, 18 inches by 12 inches. And they put our names on them with vinyl. And which part of me is like vinyl, if it's cutting mat, you're gonna cut on it. 
but I'm actually not using this as a cutting mat. I have a really big cutting mat on my second desk back here, AKA the desk where all my shit piles up all the time. What I've been using this for actually is watercoloring because I can tape down the paper on this, paint on it, then pick it up and move it somewhere else while I'm doing something on my desk. The size is just perfect for that. This comes in so much handy and I'm excited to keep using it. Probably of all of the things I bought, and there was a lot of things I bought, and like I said, I did that haul, you saw all the things, and I'm testing out some of them, so I'm still not entirely certain how I feel about all of them, but one of the things that I love so much is this pencil bag that I bought from Amy Tangerine's booth. It feels like almost canvassy or whatever, and it says it has the black stripes on one side and then it says all the things. And I love a pencil pouch. I have a pencil pouch. I like hook for pencil pouches. I will sell my vagina for pencil pouches, but this one costs 16 bucks and I love it because it says all the things. And I say that all the time. So it's like perfect. And it just makes me really happy. And I am happy to add it to my pencil pouch lineup. Stickers and washi tape kind of go together. My two favorites this month, my stickers and my washi tape. And it's not because they actually belong together, but because I use them together and I love them so much. And the washi tape is this ombre purple and blue washi tape from Michaels. Now I got this in that tube with all the ombre ones the same time those word ones came out that were super popular for a while and then they ran out and nobody could find it and then they brought it back and now suddenly it's appearing in swag and everything. I actually got them a long time ago and never used them. Well, this one worked perfectly with the sticker set that I also am loving this month. That's the Wakanda stickers from Capital Chic Designs. Now, Black Panther, another big favorite of mine this month. That movie was fantastic and I think everybody should go see it because it was just, it was beyond awesome for a superhero movie. It was just an awesome movie for so many reasons. And Lamika from Capital Chic Designs, formerly Pink Bowties, did this set with people, peopling on it. And it's got all the characters from Wakanda and like, you know, Killmonger and Black Panther and Shuri and all of them. And I am not someone who likes to put people in my planner. I don't like their faces looking at me. It kind of gives me the creeps, but I got over my fear so I could use these stickers. They were awesome and a fantastic way for me to personally celebrate a movie I felt like needed a lot of celebrating. I don't know if you can still get that washi tape at Michael's. You may very well be able to in that tube. I know that the Wakanda stickers, if they are still in stock, I know she restocked them as of the time I'm filming this, but I don't know if they're in stock when it goes live. Inception. I will link down below. You can get the Wakanda stickers in either Erin Condren or Happy Planner sized, and they're like, I think 10 bucks for the set. It's two sheets and it comes with a bunch of different stuff. So yeah, go check it out if you love that movie. I have her stickers for A Wrinkle in Time. I guarantee you right now, those are gonna show up in my favorites for next month. Now my pens this month I've been loving are the Spectrum Noir Art Liners. I have a review for these. I don't know if it will be up at the time this video goes up, but it will be up at some point in the very near future where I talk about these pens. But overall, I just wanna say that aside from the brush pen, which I fucking hate, all of the rest of them have been good times. They are the exclusive pens I've used in my bullet journal this month to try and test them out. They are very comparable to the Pigma Microns. So if, you're inter if you like Pigma Microns, these puppies are very similar to that. I got them from Michaels. They were 17 something at Michaels. I think you might be able to get them on Amazon for cheaper, but I'm not sure. And it's just a set of black line art liners that come in. It's from 005, 01, 03, 05, 08, and then that shitty ass brush pen. And I really liked them aside from the brush pen. Did I mention I didn't like the brush pen? They work out great. My heavy hand has not destroyed them. And they are a solid pen, at least thus far. I have been struggling to figure out how best to manage my YouTube schedule. I'm currently posting five videos a week, trying to keep track of all of those ideas and what's coming out when while being able to be flexible and rearrange them is something that I have been working on. I've used various different things over the course of the last like couple of years. I've tried Trello, which I was liking for a while, and then it just stopped being something I enjoyed. And lately what I've been using is this monthly planner from the Day Designer Blue Sky Collection. They sent this to me. And what I have been doing is using little post-its and just sticking them in here so that I can rearrange them as necessary. And I don't know if I'm gonna stick with this, but I know that for right now, coming off of the plan as you go month and having to get back into the swing of like doing different types of videos every week, it actually was harder for me than I thought it was gonna be to adjust after the plan as you go month and then going to planners rock and getting sick. Like all those things together made getting back into the rhythm a little bit more challenging than I expected. And using this little skinny planner has been helpful in getting my thoughts reorganized. I don't know if I'm gonna keep using it for the whole year or if it's gonna just be kind of an every once in a while thing. All it is is monthly pages and it's that's it. 
just the months, nothing else, no note pages, none of that. There is lines on the actual month, day. I don't really care though. I'm not writing directly in it except on the side, but honestly, I'm not feeling very confident in how I am planning out my schedule on YouTube for videos and things like that. And I'm in the process of trying to get better at it. Every time I think I have some kind of planner contentment, planner peace in one area of my life, then another area goes kerflui and that's currently what I'm dealing with. So, so this is a favorite this month, even though it's still not like a forever must be the only planner, but I mean, get real, who actually has a forever planner? Anyway, those are my favorites for the month of February. Let me know down in the comments what it is you have been loving this last month, whether it's planner shit or regular shit. Do you have games? Do you play those Jack's Box games? Let me know. I always love to see all of the things you guys like because it gives me more ways to be enabled and maybe gives me more information to bring to other people, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. I guess we'll figure it out later. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.